Hello class! So today, here in Advanced Engineering Mathematics for Civil Engineers, we're going to discuss the second part of systems of linear equations. So specifically, for this discussion, we're going to evaluate systems of linear equations using LU factorization, that is Doolittle's method and Kraut's method, and Cholesky method. So we will start now our discussion. Okay, so for LU factorization, so let's consider the linear system uh, written uh, in its equivalent matrix equation form. So that is AX equal to B. So let A be factored into the product LU. So L here uh, refers to um, lower triangular matrix. No? And uh, U here, okay, um, it refers to an upper triangular matrix. So this, uh, this again, this L and U are lower and upper triangular matrices. No? So we can resolve, okay, or factor a matrix A, okay, into the product of a uh, lower and triangular matrix, no, of that matrix, of that matrix A, no. So, the linear system becomes uh, LUX equal to B, okay. So, here we resolve A uh, into its product LU, that's why it became, it becomes LU here. So, it becomes LUX equal to B, and if we will let uh, this ux, okay, as y, okay, so this equation will become ly is equal to b. So, we're going to use this uh, equations, no, uh, that, that I've mentioned here, okay, in solving for systems of linear equations uh, using uh, LU factorization. So, there are two methods that we can use in solving for the lower and upper triangular matrix of a given matrix. Okay, so the first one is called Doolittle's method. So let's say if, uh, using Doolittle's method, no. So let's say uh, for matrix A, so we will factor this in its equivalent lower uh, uh, times upper triangular matrix, no. So let's say this is the matrix A. So it can be factored into its equivalent lower and upper triangular matrix. So this will be the lower triangular matrix. And here in Doolittle's method, we will assume Okay, that uh, L sub II, meaning to say all the, the principal diagonal, okay, in the lower uh, triangular matrix, which is uh, this matrix, no? So, we will assume that this, uh, this uh, principal diagonal or the elements here in the principal diagonal are all one, okay? So, um, uh, the and then the remaining elements here we will uh, name it as L sub 2 1, L sub 31, L sub 32. No, and for the upper triangular matrix, okay, so all of the um, elements here will be um, unknown. No, for uh, this upper triangular matrix, so this will be uh, element U11, U12, U13, U22, U23, uh, up to U30. Three. Okay, so uh, this matrix A, okay, it can be factored into this uh, LU uh, product, no? So this is also, if we multiply this L and U, okay, this is uh, equivalent to this. Okay, so the second method that we can use is Kraut's method. Okay, so for Kraut's method, uh, for... Uh, the uh, for the given matrix A, uh, again, we will factor it into its product LU. And the uh, assumption here is that the principal diagonal in the upper, okay, the principal, the, the elements, okay, uh, here in the principal diagonal of the upper triangular matrix, okay, uh, we will assume them as one. So this will be one. Okay, and the remaining elements, we will name them as U12, U13, and U23. And for the lower triangular matrix, okay, we will name the elements here as L11, L21, L22, L31, L32, and L33. So, uh, from, from this product L, you know, using Doolittle's and Kraut's method, we're going to solve for uh, these unknown elements, no? So, after for these unknown elements, okay, we can now... Uh, proceed to our next step, no? uh, which will be discussed uh, on the uh, next slide. Okay, so these are the steps in LU factorization. Okay, so the first step is you have to solve for the lower and upper triangular matrix. The second one is you have to use 
al ly is equal to b okay we're in l here is the lower triangular matrix that we solved from step one okay and y um is a uh, unknown unknown quantity no so these are unknown variable okay and we will equate it to the constants no in the um, given systems of linear equations and we are going to solve for y okay so uh, your y here will be a column matrix okay which uh, which uh, includes y1 y2 y3 and so on okay so we're going to solve for y here and after we solve for y here we're going to proceed to our third step so we have to use ux equal to y Okay, we're in y here. Okay, is the value are the values of y that we solved from step two, and u here. Okay, uh, this is the upper triangular matrix. Okay, that we solved from step one. Okay, and here in step number three. Okay, we're going to solve for x. So x will be the column. Okay, we're in uh, we're in uh, x one, x two, x three, x four can be solved. No, so uh, that's uh, these are the steps okay in solving for uh, systems of linear equations using LU uh, factorization. Okay, so let's solve sample problems now about LU factorization. Uh, solve the following system of equation using Doolittle's method. So this is the this is the given um, systems of linear equations. Okay, so we're going to use Doolittle's method in solving for the lower and upper triangular matrix no so uh, for uh, this problem uh, uh, we're going to solve for the values of x1 x2 and x3 so for our solution so again for our step one okay using lu factorization okay so we have to solve for l and u so we're going to use Doolittle's method here so we're going to um, resolve our or factor our matrix a Okay, so our matrix A from the system, okay, the, so this is the coefficient matrix. So the coefficient matrix here will be 2, negative 4, 1. So this will be uh, those elements, no? So, and then 6, 2, negative 1, okay, for this row. And then negative 2, 6, negative 2, okay, so that will be for this row. Okay, so after that, we're going to factor this into its equivalent LNU or product LNU, no? So, for Doolittle's method, we're going to assume that the elements, all the elements in the principal diagonal of the lower triangular matrix are 1. Okay, so we will uh, assume it as 1, no? and the remaining elements, we will name them as L21, L31, L32. Okay, now for the upper triangular matrix, so all the... Um, all the elements here in the upper triangle here, okay, so uh, this will all be unknowns, okay, so this will be U11, U12, U13, U22, U23, and U33. So we're going to solve for this unknown uh, elements, no, in the lower and upper triangular matrix. So we're going to multiply uh, these two uh, matrices, no, this uh, lower and upper triangular matrix will multiply them and uh, we're going to equate them, okay, to the um, coefficient matrix A here in the left side, no? So, we're going to apply uh, the, the principle of equality, no? Uh, so, let's multiply first the lower and upper triangular matrix. So, this will just be uh, row times column, right? So, this will be a uh, row of the first of the lower triangular matrix and the column of the upper triangular matrix. So this will just be 1 times U11, okay, plus 0 times 0 plus 0 times 0. So that will just be U11, okay. So this will be that element now, okay. Now for uh, the second uh, element here in the sec uh, in the first row, you know, so we will multiply the first row and second column here. So that this will be 1 times U12, Okay, plus 0 times U22, plus 0 times 0. So, that will just be U12, right? And also for uh, this third element, this will just be 1 times U13, plus 0 times U23, plus 0 times U33. So, that will just be U13. Okay, now for the elements here in the uh, second, uh, second row, so... We will multiply the second row here to the first column. 
Okay, so L21 times U11 plus 1 times 0 plus 0 times 0. So that will just be L21 times U11. Okay, now for the next element, that will just be the product of this row and second column. Okay, so this will be L21 times U12 plus 1 times U22 plus 0 times 0. So that will just be L21 times U12 plus U22. Now for the third uh, element here, that will just be L21 times U13 plus 1 times U23 plus 0 times U33. So it will be L21 uh, times U13 plus uh, U23 here. Okay, now for this element, so this is in the third row. Okay, so we will multiply this third row and first column. So this will be L31 times U11 plus L32 times 0 plus 1 times 0. So this will just be L31 times U11. And then we proceed to the second column, L31 times U12 plus L32 times U12, uh, U22 plus 1 times 0. So that will just be L31 U12 plus L32 U22. Now for the last element here, that this will just be L31 times U13 Okay, plus L32 times U23, okay, plus 1 times U33. So, this will be that element. Okay, so from here, uh, this will be the, the uh, elements no, for the product of L and U. And we will equate uh, each and every element here to the corresponding element uh, of here in the, uh, no, no, in the coefficient matrix A. So, U11 will just be equal to 2. U12 will just be equal to negative 4. U13 will just be equal to 1. L21, U11 will just be equal to 6. And so on no, for the remaining elements. So we're just going to apply uh, equality here. Okay, so these are now the values for U11, U12, and U13. So U11 is equal to 2. U12 is equal to negative 4. U13 is equal to 1. Now for the second row, no, so we will equate L8. L21 times U11 uh, to 6, no? so that will be equal to 6. And since we have already know the value of U11 from here, so we just substitute that here and solve for L21. So our L21 here will be equal to 6 divided by 2, so that will be 3. Now for the uh, this next element, so this will be L21 times U12 plus U22 is equal to 2. So we will just substitute the values that we already solved. That is L21. So we will substitute 3 here. And we already know the uh, value of U12. So this will be negative 4. So we just substitute it here. And solve for the value of U22. So solving for the value of U22, it will just be 2 um, plus 12, no, since we will transpose this. So that will be 14 for U22. Now for the next element here, so this is L21 U13 plus U23. This will be equal to negative 1. And L21 is 3 from here. U13 is 1. So we just substitute those values and solve for U23. So this will just be, uh, U23 will just be negative 1 minus 3. Uh, so this will be negative 4. Uh, so for the last uh, row, no? Okay, so we, we will just equate L31 times U11 to negative 2, no? So, uh, since we already know the value of U11, so th this will be uh, 2 here. And as we will solve for L31, that will just be negative 2 over 2, and that is negative 1. Now, also, L31 U12 plus L32 times U22 is equal to 6. So, substituting the... Um, obtained values, okay, for L31, that is negative 1, U12, that is negative 4, L32 is unknown, U22 is um, 14, no? So, and then we're going to solve for L32, so solving for L32, that will just be um, equal to 6 uh, plus 4, uh, minus 4, 6 minus 4 over 14, okay, so that will be uh, 1 over 7, no, for L32. And then we have here L31 times U13 plus L32 times U23 plus U33 is equal to negative 2. So substituting L31, that is negative 1. U13 is 1. L32 is 1 over 7. U23 is negative 4. And then the unknown here is U33. So solving for U33, 
that will just be equal to negative 2 plus 1 plus 4 over 7. Okay, so if you input that in your calculator, that will be negative 3 over 7. So this will now be the values of all the um, elements or unknown elements no, uh, from the lower and upper triangular matrix. So from here, we can now solve for or we can now start uh, doing step number two. No? So for, for step number two, we will use Ly is equal to B and we will solve for Y. No? So for L, okay, so from uh, the uh, elements that we have solved here for L, okay, what we need here is L21, L31, and L32. So the value of L21 is 3. The value of L31 is negative 1. So this will be that element. And the value of L32 is 1 over 7. So we will just substitute those obtains, obtained elements okay, here in the lower triangular matrix. And after this, we're going to use the, the this equation, Ly is equal to B. So for L, again, this is the uh, lower triangular matrix. okay, And then uh, Y will be Y1 y2 and y3 no so and we will equate it to the constants in the given uh, systems of linear equations and uh, those constants are 4 10 negative 6 and here we're going to solve for y1 y2 and y3 also to solve this we will just multiply this uh, matrix okay to y1 and then equate it to 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 constant okay so this will be uh, for this first row, this will just be 1 times y1 plus 0 times y2 plus 0 times y3, and that will be equal to 4. So that will just be y1 is equal to 4. Now for, for this, so this will be 3 times y1 plus 1 times y2 plus 0 times y3, and that will be equal to 10. So this will be uh, the, that equation, no? And uh, since we already solved for the value of y1 that is equal to 4, we just substitute it here, okay, and solve for y2. So our y2 will just be 10 minus 12, so that will be negative 2, okay. Now for y3, so that will just be negative 1 times y1 plus 1 over 7 times y2, okay, plus 1 times y3, that will be equal to negative 6. So this will be that equation. Okay, and we just substitute the obtained value of y2 and y1, no? And the unknown here will be y3, and we're going to solve for y3. So, our y3 here will be uh, negative 6, okay? Negative 6 plus 4 plus 2 over 7, okay? And the value for that is negative 12 over 7. So, this will now be the values of y1, y2, and y3. So, we can now proceed to our step 3 which we uh, will we're going to use okay this obtained values of y1 y2 and y3 so for step 3 so we will use ux equal to y to solve for x so we will use the values of y that we solved from the previous step okay so uh, we will uh, write first no our u so our u from the solve or from the obtained uh, values of the elements for upper triangular matrix so we already solved for u11 u12 u13 up to u33 so we will just substitute these elements okay so these are 2 negative 4 1 14 negative 4 and negative 3 over 7 so uh, we will use this u to uh, in this equation no so this will be ux equal to y okay so um your our x here okay are the unknown uh, quantities no, that we need to solve for this problem. So these are x1, x2, and x3. Uh, so we will multiply u uh, to x and we will equate it to y. So these are the values of y1, y2, and y3 that we obtained from the previous step. So uh, those values are 4, negative 2, and negative 12 over 7. So we will perform this uh, this uh, operation. No, We will multiply this and equate it uh, using equality nga, no? Okay, so, uh, we will start here with this element uh, or with this row. Okay, we will multiply this row to this column. So, this will just be 0 times x1 plus 0 times x2 plus negative 3 over 7 times x3. And that will be equal to negative 12 over 7. So, this will just be simply negative 3 over 7 
x3 is equal to negative 12 over 7. So, solving for x3, okay, so this will just be negative 12 over 7 divided by uh, negative 3 over 7. So, that will just be 4. Okay, so that this will now be the value of x3. So, we can actually box it now here since we are uh, asked he uh, asked to, to solve for x1, x1, x3. So this is already uh, an answer no, for this problem. Now for the next uh, row, okay, so we will multiply this second row to uh, this column so and equate it to negative 2. So this will just be 0 times x1, okay, plus 14 times x2, plus negative 4 times x3, okay, and that will be equal to negative 2. So this will be that uh, equation okay and we will just substitute the x3 that we solve here so we will substitute 4 here okay so this will just be 14 x2 plus negative 4 times 4 is equal to negative 2 so solving for x2 okay so this will just be negative 2 plus 16 over 14 which will be equal to 1 so our x2 is equal to 1 so this is already an answer okay now for the last equation Okay, so from, from the first row multiplied by uh, this column, no? so this will be 2 times x1 plus negative 4 times x2 plus 1 times x3, that will be equal to 4. Okay, so that will be this uh, equation. Okay, and we're just going to substitute the uh, element or the values of x2 and x3 that we obtain here. So that will be 1 and 4. No? So this will become 2x1 plus negative 4 times 1 plus 4 is equal to 4. So solving for x1, so this will just be 4 uh, minus 4 plus 4, okay, over 2. So that will be 2. Okay, so this will now be, be the answers for this problem. So x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 1, and x3 is equal to 4. Okay, so now let's solve this system of equation, okay, using Kraut's method. Okay, so this is the same example that we solved using Doolittle's method. So we will show here that uh, it will give us the same answer no, if we use Kraut's method. No, so for Kraut's method, so uh, for this uh, problem, so we are asked here to solve for x1, x2, and x3. Okay, and uh, for our solution, we will use Kraut's method, okay, in solving for the lower and upper triangular matrix or L and U, no? Okay, so for uh, our matrix A, so this is the uh, coefficient matrix. So again, that, that is 2, negative 4, 1. That will be for the first row. And then 6, 2, negative 1 for the second row. Then negative 2, 6, negative 2 for the third row. And we will equate it to the factored product of uh, lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix. So, our assumption for Kraut's method, okay, so we will assume that the principal diagonal or the elements of the principal diagonal of the upper triangular matrix are all 1. Okay, so this will be 1, 1, 1, and the remaining elements will be U12, U13, U23, okay, and the lower triangular matrix, this will be the elements of this lower triangular matrix. And uh, we're going to solve uh, these elements, okay? So we're going to multiply L and U. So multiplying L and U, this will be L11 times 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 0 times 0. So this will be that value, okay? And then we have here L11 plus U12 plus 0 times 1 plus 0 times 0. So that will be simply L11 times U12. And then we have here L11 times U13 uh, plus 0 times U23 plus 0 times 1. So this will be that value. And then L21 times 1, okay, that, this will be that element. And then L21 times U12 plus L22 times 1, okay, plus 0 times 0. So this will be that element. And then we have here L21 times U13 plus L22 times U23 plus 0 times 1. So, this will be that element. Okay, and for here, L31 times 1 plus L32 times 0 plus L33 times 0. So, that will just be simply L31. And then we have here L31 times U12 plus L32 times 1 plus L33 times 0. So, this will be that uh, value. And then we have here L31 times U13 
plus L32 times U23 plus L33 times 1. So this will be that value. And here, uh, we're going to equate these elements, no? okay, this product, uh, the elements in this product. We will uh, equate them uh, or we will use the concept of equality and equate them to the corresponding elements here in the right side of the equation. No? So this will be L11 times 2, L11 U12, uh, L11 is equal to 2 rather, and then L11 times U12 is equal to negative 4, L11 U13 is equal to 1, uh, L21 is equal to 6, L21 U12 plus L22 is equal to 2, and so on no, for the remaining elements. Okay. Okay, so these are now the elements that we equated from the previous slide. Okay, so L11 is equal to 2. Okay, so L11 times U12 is equal to negative 4. We already have the value of L11, which is 2. We can now solve for U12, and that will be equal to negative 2. And then we have here L11 times U13 is equal to 1. Okay, and we have the value of L11 already, that is 2. And then we can solve for U13, so this will be equal to 1 half. Now for L21, that is equal to 6. And L21 times U12 plus L22, that will be equal to 2. And we already have the value here of L21, which is 6. U12, which is negative 2. So we can solve for L22, that will be equal to 14. Now for L21, U13 plus L22, U23 equal to negative 1. So we have the value of L21, that is 6, U13, which is 1 half, L22, which is 14, and U23, uh, that is the unknown. So we can solve for U23, and that will be equal to negative 2 over 7. For L31, okay, so that is equal to negative 2, and then we have here L31 times U12 plus L32 is equal to 6. We have already the value of L31, which is negative 2. U12, which is negative 2, and L32, we can solve for that. So L32 is equal to 2. Now, lastly, for L31, U13, plus L32, U23, plus L33 is equal to negative 2. So we have the value already of L31, which is negative 2. U13, which is 1 half. L32, which is 2. Uh, U23, which is negative 2 over 7. And for L33, okay, we will solve this. Uh, so your L33 will be equal to negative 3 over 7. So this will now be the elements uh, in your lower and upper triangular matrix. No? So uh, we use Kraut's method here. No? So these, are, these elements are actually different from the elements that we solved from Doolittle's method. No? And, but anyway, so we will now proceed to step 2. So we will use LY is equal to B. So the elements for lower triangular matrix are this uh, elements 2, 6, 40, negative 2, 2, negative 3 over 7. Okay, so equating LY is equal to B. Okay, so our uh, L here again is this uh, uh, matrix. Our Y are uh, Y1, Y2, Y3. And we will equate it to the constants of the given equations, that is 4, 10, negative 6. So we will perform uh, this operation. So this is multiplication. So this will just be 2 times y1 is equal to 4. Okay, and uh, solving for y1, that will just be equal to 2. Now multiplying 6 times y1 plus 14 times y2 plus 0 times y3, that will be equal to 10. So this will be that equation. And we already have the value of y1, which is 2. We just substitute that. And uh, we solve for y2. So solving for y2, this will give us negative 1 over 7. Lastly, for the third equation, so this will be negative 2 times y1 plus 2 times y2 plus negative 3 over 7 times y3. And that will be equal to negative 6. So we just substitute the value of y1, which is 2 and y2, which is negative 1 over 7, and solving for y3, this will give us uh, 4. No? So this will now be the values of y1, y2, and y3 that we're going to uh, use okay, in step 3. Okay, so for step 3, we're going to use ux equal to y to solve for x. Okay, so this is the upper triangular matrix. So these are the elements that we solve okay, from step 1. Okay, so... 
uh, we will uh, use this formula, no, u x equal to y. So, our x here are x1, x2, and x3. And our y uh, is the, are the values of y that we obtain from step 2. So, that uh, those values are 2, negative 1 over 7, and 4. So, we will perform this, uh, our operation for this. So, this is multiplication. So, we will start here, okay, at the bottom. So, this will be 0 times x1 plus 0 times x2 plus 1 times x3. That will be equal to 4. So, this will be that equation. So, this will be uh, the one of the answers now, no? x3 is equal to 4. So, you can box it here. Okay, and then we have here uh, 0 times x1 plus 1 times x2 plus negative 2 over 7 times x3 is equal to negative 1 over 7. So, this will be that equation and we already have x3. We just substitute that. That is 4, no? And solving for x2, this will give us 1. Uh, so, this is also one of the answers. So, you can box it here. Now, lastly, for this equation, no? so this will be x uh, 1 times x1 plus negative 2 times x2 plus 1 half times x3. That will be equal to 2. So, we, uh, we just substitute x2. So, x2 is 1 and x3 is 4. So, solving for x1, that will give us 2. So, uh, you can now box that. So, these are actually the same answers that we obtained using Doolittle's method, right? So, this will now be the answers. Okay, so let's talk about now about eigenvalue and eigenvector. So, we're going to use the concept of eigenvalue and eigenvector for uh, the next method that we're going to, to discuss. Okay, so to solve for eigenvalue, we're going to use this uh, equation. Okay, so this is determinant of A minus uh, lambda i is equal to 0. Okay, so uh, we're in uh, this symbol, no? So this is uh, this a minus gamma or lambda i, okay? It's inside a um, like a uh, absolute value sign, no? So this actually means determinant of uh, a minus uh, lambda i, no? We're in a here is the matrix A or the given matrix. Okay, and lambda here is the eigenvalue. So, these are the values that uh, we want to, to solve from, from this uh, equation, no? Okay, or formula. And then, um, the I here is an identity matrix, no? So, identity matrix, all the elements of the principal diagonal of that matrix are all one. And all the remaining, uh, all, all the other elements okay, are 0, okay, so that's identity matrix, and we will just equate that to 0 to solve for, uh, for, for the eigenvalue or lambda, no, okay, and also for eigenvector, so this is the formula that we're going to use for eigenvector, so we just multiply uh, our matrix A by V, so V here uh, is the eigenvector, no, equal to uh, lambda, where in lambda here are the eigenvalues that we solve from this uh, formula and multiply by v. So this v is also an eigenvector. No? So we're going to use this formula to solve for eigenvector. Okay, so let's start solving sample problems. So solve for the eigenvalue and eigenvector of the given matrix A. Okay, so for this, no, uh, for this problem, we're going to solve for eigenvalue and eigenvector. So for our solution, for eigenvalues, okay, we're going to use this formula, okay, the determinant of A minus lambda I is equal to zero, where in A here is the matrix A given, okay, minus lambda, and the identi identity matrix here will be 2 by 2, since our matrix A is 2 by 2, so our so our identity matrix here will also be 2 by 2, and all the, the elements of the principal diagonal here, okay, will all be 1, and all the other elements will just be 0. Okay, so this will be equated to 0, and we will just uh, multiply uh, and apply a scalar multiplication for, for this, no, lambda times uh, this identity matrix. So simplifying that, that will be uh, lambda ma lambda times 1, so that will be lambda, lambda times 0, that will be 0, lambda times 0, that will be 0, and lambda times 1, that will be lambda. Okay, so we're going to perform a subtraction here. Okay, so performing subtraction here, this will be negative 6 minus lambda, 3 minus 0, that will be 3, 
4 minus 0, that will be 4. 5 minus lambda, that will be 5 minus lambda. And this will be equated to 0. So, we're going to solve for the determinant of this 2-by-2 uh, two two matrix. Okay, so we're going to, um, again, uh, determine its determinant no, by multiplying this and then minus multiply 4 times 3. So, that will just be negative 6 minus lambda times 5 minus lambda minus 4 times 3. So, that's how we... Um, solve for the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix and it, this will be equal to 0. Okay, so uh, this will now be the, the determinant. No? So simplifying this, so we just use FOIL method here, negative 6 times 5, negative 30, negative 6 times negative lambda, that will be positive 6 lambda, negative lambda times 5, that will be negative 5 lambda, negative lambda times negative lambda, that will be positive lambda squared minus 12, is equal to 0. So simplifying this further, so it will give us lambda squared plus lambda minus 42 is equal to 0. So we're going to solve for uh, the value of lambda here. Okay, so since this is a quadratic equation, okay, since the highest um, degree dito, no, here, or the highest degree here is 2. So, this is a quadratic equation, no, so we can solve for the value of lambda by using quadratic formula, factoring, synthetic division, or whatever method that you are uh, familiar, no, or uh, uh, the, the method that is easier for you, no. So, in this case, we're going to use factoring, Okay, so we just think of two numbers that it's pro that their product will be negative 42 and their uh, sum will be positive 1. No? So uh, those two numbers will be 7 and negative 6. So their product will be negative 42 and their sum will be positive 1. Okay, so from here, okay, we can already solve for, for the lambda here. Okay, for the first lambda... That will just be lambda plus 7 is equal to 0. So, that will be lambda is equal to negative 7. And lambda is equal, uh, lambda minus 6 is equal to 0. So, that will be lambda is equal to 6. So, these values of lambda will now be the, the values of, or the eigenvalues, okay, that we are solving here in this problem. Uh, so, this will now be the answers for eigenvalues. Now, for eigenvector, okay, so the formula for eigenvector is A, wherein that is matrix A, and then V, no? So, V here is the um, eigenvectors equal to lambda. So, the lambda here are the eigenvalues that we solve here, okay, times V. So, again, V is um, eigenvectors, okay? So, we will just substitute here uh, the matrix A. So, this is our matrix A. And for eigenvector, okay, so we will... Um, we will assign unknown variables here. So, we will assign X and Y here. Okay. And we will equate this to lambda uh, times uh, V. So, it's the same here. So, this will just be also X and Y. Okay. So, we will perform uh, the operation for this. Okay. So, uh, the lambda that we're going to use here are 6 and negative 7. Okay. So, since we have two values of of lambda or or eigenvalues, no. So since we have uh, two eigenvalues, so we will also have two um, eigenvectors, no. So we're going to use first the uh, lambda is equal to six, okay, to solve for the first eigenvector. So we just substitute this lambda to uh, this lambda here, no. So substituting that, so this will just be. Uh, 6 here, okay, and we will just perform the operations here, so we will multiply A to this uh, eigenvector x, y, no, and equate it to uh, the product of 6 and eigenvector x, y, okay, so let's perform the operation here, so this will just be negative 6 times x plus 3y, okay, is equal to 6x, okay, so this will be our first equation. For the second equation, this will be 4x plus 5y is equal to 6y, Okay, so uh, we will just simplify these two equations. Okay, so for the first equation, if we simplify this, if we combine six negative 6x six to the uh, 6x on the other side, so that will become 12x. So solving for y here, so this will be y is equal to 4x. So this will be our equation 1. Now for the equation 2, no, so we will just simplify this. So this will become 4x or yeah, so this will be uh, 5y will be uh, transpose to the other side, so that will become y. So y is equal to 4x. So this will be our equation 2. So as you can notice here, both equation 1 and equation 2 are, are equal. No? So 
uh, that's that's uh, what will happen no when we are so solving eigenvectors okay so from from these equations okay we can generate okay that y is equal to 4x okay and from here okay we can solve for the eigenvector v okay that if the value of of x is 1 okay if the value of x is 1 so this is this is our eigenvector so this if x is 1 so this will be 1 Okay, we, we just substitute that 1 to the uh, variable x here and solve for y. So, the y will be 4. Okay, so the y will be 4. So, this will be our uh, eigenvector. So, uh, this is actually any non-zero multiple of this. So, in this case, uh, we use a multiple of 1. Okay, so we substitute 1 to x variable and uh, solve for the value of y. So, uh, that's what we do here. Okay, so... Uh, for this course, now what we're going to, to use here, okay, we're going to substitute 1, okay, to the variable that has coefficient and solve for, for uh, the, the variable that is in the left side, okay. So, uh, the, the variable here that has coefficient is variable x, okay. So, this is the variable that we're going to, to substitute uh, a multiple of 1 or the, a value of 1. So, we will substitute 1 to x, so that will be the value of x, that will be 1. Okay, and uh, solving for y, that will be 4 times 1, so that will be 4. So, the value of y will be, the value of this y will be 4. So, this will now be the eigen uh, vector, no, for lambda is equal to c. So, we will also solve for the eigen vector when the lambda is negative 7, or if the eigen value is negative 7. Okay, so if lambda or the eigen value is negative 7, we will just substitute that to our formula here to this lambda so this will be negative 7 and we will perform our operation here for the first uh, row times the first column here so this will be negative 6 times x plus 3 times y so that will be equal to negative 7 times x okay so this will be our first equation for the second equation 4 times x plus 5 times y is equal to negative 7 times y okay so uh, from the first equation, we can uh, simplify this further. Okay, so this will become, uh, we can um, transpose negative 7x uh, to the other side and transpose 3y to the other side. So that will become 7x minus 6x, which will be positive x, and 3y will become negative 3y, okay, if we transpose it to the other side. So x will now be equal to negative 3y, okay, so that will be our equation 1. Now, for the second equation, simplifying this, so we just um, transpose, oh, I think, uh, na ano ko ito, nakalimutan ko yung is equal to 0 dito. So, this is equal to 0 since we transpose negative 7y to the other side. So, that will become 12y no, if we add that to 5y. Okay, so this will be equal to 0. And uh, solving for x, that will be equal to negative 3y so we just divide both sides by 4 no to solve for that x okay so as we can see again here equation 1 and equation 2 are just the same no so from that generated um uh equation no x equal to 3y negative 3y rather from equation 1 and equation 2 we can now solve for our eigen uh vectors no so for this eigen vector so the variable here that we're going to substitute the one value no so we will substitute one to the variable that has coefficient so the variable here that has coefficient is y okay so we're going to substitute one to y here okay and if the value of y is one so we will put one here that that will be the value of y and uh if we substitute uh one to y here Okay, so solving for the value of x, that will just be negative 3 times 1. So that will be negative 3. That's why the value of our x here will be negative 3. So uh, this will now be the, the eigenvector, okay, using the eigenvalue negative 7. So uh, any non-zero multiple of this can be an answer for this, no? But again, for this course, we're going to use uh, a multiple of 1, no, for all the uh, solutions here, okay, for all the problems about eigenvectors, okay? Okay, so let's proceed now to Cholesky method. So the Cholesky decomposition or Cholesky factorization is a decomposition of a Hermitian. So Hermitian, that means symmetric matrix. So we already talked about symmetric matrix. No? So uh, if we 
uh, solve for the the transpose of a specific matrix okay and the transpose of that matrix is also equal to the to that original matrix so that matrix is a symmetric matrix okay uh, so uh, the composition of a hermitian or symmetric positive definite matrix into the product of a lower triangular matrix and its conjugate transpose okay so here uh, we can only apply Cholesky method for symmetric matrix and positive definite matrix. So we have here uh, to test no, uh, to know if a given matrix is a definite uh, or positive definite matrix. No? So we're going to discuss those two tests. Okay, and uh, we're going to decompose. Okay, we're going to decompose uh, the the matrix. Okay, into uh, into product lower triangular matrix okay uh, and conjugate transpose conjugate transpose uh, meaning to say okay th uh, that is the, the the transpose okay the transpose of the lower triangular matrix here okay so uh, if in LU factorization we factor the the matrix a into the product of lower and upper triangular matrix here uh, in Cholesky method we're going to to factor okay or decompose the matrix A okay into the product of triang lower triangular matrix okay and the transpose of that lower triangular matrix okay so the Cholesky decomposition of a Hermitian positive definite matrix is a decomposition of the form. So th this is what I'm t uh, talking about uh, earlier. So uh, A will be uh, decomposed or factored into the product of lower triangular matrix uh, and lo uh, the transpose of this lower triangular matrix. Where L is a lower triangular matrix with real and positive diagonal entries and L... Uh, raised to T denotes the conjugate transpose of L or the si simply the transpose of that lower triangular matrix. Okay, so we will talk about now the tests that we can use to uh, to to know if a given matrix is a de is a positive def definite matrix. No, so these are the tests to determine positive definiteness of a symmetric matrix. So the first one is a Hermitian or symmetric matrix is positive definite if all its eigenvalues are positive. Okay, so the second test, if the determinants associated with all upper left submatrices are positive. So for the test one, so we already discussed to, uh, how to solve eigenvalue. So uh, what we need here to, to prove that uh, a given symmetric matrix is a positive definite if all the eigenvalues that we're going to solve are positive. Okay, so for the second test naman, no? so uh, we are going to solve for the determinants of all the upper left submatrices okay, of the matrix. So we're going to uh, solve problems no, using these two tests okay, to know if that given symmetric matrix is a positive uh, definite. No? So let's start solving. Okay, test the following matrix if positive definite. So, we have here a uh, matrix A. And as we can see here, this is a symmetric matrix. So, if we uh, solve for the transpose of this matrix, that will uh, just be also equal to this uh, matrix. No? Okay, so we're going to test okay, if this matrix is a positive definite matrix. Okay, so for the first test, we're going to use... Uh, the eigenvalues, no? So, the eigenvalues, all the eigenvalues for this matrix A should be positive. So, to solve for eigenvalues, we're going to use our formula here that the determinant of A minus lambda times I will just be equal to zero. Okay, so our matrix A here, uh, so is this given uh, matrix A minus lambda and uh, identity matrix our identity matrix here is a 3 by 3 matrix also since our matrix A is 3 by 3. So we will equate this to 0. Okay, so performing the operation here, so performing scalar multiplication for this, so this will just be lambda times 1, lambda times 1, lambda times 1. So all the principal, all the elements in the principal diagonal here will just become lambda. And if you multiply lambda to 0, so this will just be 0. No? So this will be equated to 0. And we will now perform subtraction for this. 
Okay, so uh, performing subtraction, this will just become 4 minus lambda, okay, and then 26 minus lambda, and then 61 minus lambda. So all the uh, remaining elements here will just be the same since uh, the elements here are uh, 0, no, if we subtract uh, them, uh, if we subtract 0, so it will just be the same, no? Okay, so this will now be our 3 by 3 matrix, and we're going to solve for its determinant. Okay, so since this is a 3 by 3 matrix, we can use basket method in, sol in solving for its determinant. Okay, so actually, you have a choice here. You can also use um, pivotal condensation method. No, you can also use that. You can also use um, cofactor expansion method No, if uh, that seems uh, more easy or easy. If that seems easier for you, no. So you can also use them, no. So but in this case, we're going to use basket method. But but actually, I suggest that you use a uh, cofactor expansion method. I think that's easier, no. But in this case, uh, I'll just show you how to solve this using a uh, basket method, no. So our rule for basket method, we just rewrite the first two columns here beside the three by three matrix. So these are the first and second columns. Okay, and after that we. Uh, perform our uh, uh, procedure no, for solving for its determinant. So this will just be uh, multiple. This will just be the product of these elements plus product of these elements plus product of these elements minus product of these elements. So quantity no quantity ma minus quantity uh, product of this. Uh, elements plus product of these elements plus product of these elements. So that's how we use basket method. So this will be the uh, product, no? So of this um, uh, the products, okay? For each um, uh, the what we uh, how we multiply it here, no? So okay. So simplifying this, okay? So um, you can post this video, no? To to um, uh, to 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 analyze no how it's uh, uh, it 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 was simplified no so we just use foil for a uh, foil method here to simplify this we just multiply this and then we multiply this and then this is uh, minus quantity okay we just multiply this okay and then multiply this and then multiply this no so this will now be the uh, si uh, simplified form. Okay, and we can simplify this further. So simplifying this further, so we just um, uh, we simplify. We will simplify this further again. Okay, so simplifying this, so this will be the result. Okay, and from here we're just going to um, combine like terms. Okay, so simplifying this further, so this will now be the res uh, resulting equation: negative lambda cube plus 91 lambda squared minus 1094 lambda plus 36 is equal to zero. Okay, so the degree here is a uh, three, no? So uh, we cannot use factoring here. So this will be difficult if we use factoring. Uh, it will also, uh, of course, quadratic equation is not uh, applicable here since this is not a quadratic equation or quadratic formula rather, no? Okay, so here we can actually use our cal calculator to solve this, no? So we can use mode five four. Okay, to solve for the values of lambda. So we just uh, input here the coefficients, okay, of uh, the lambdas here, no, and the constant here, which is 36. Okay, so we just input that in our calculator. So mode 5, 4, and then we input negative 1, positive 91, negative 109, and uh, 1094, rather, negative 1094. And then we have here 36. Okay, so the values here, okay, for the lambda, so we will have three values here since this is third degree. Okay, so for the first lambda, 76.75250. For second lambda, 14.21449816 or simply 21450, no? And then the third lambda is 0 0.032997. Okay, so as we can see here, all the values of of this eigenvalue, okay, they are all positive. So, uh, from from this, now we can draw our conclusion that this matrix, this symmetric matrix A, okay, this is actually a positive definite matrix. Okay, now for our test two, so all upper left sub matrices should have positive determinant. Okay, so we will test 
uh, the upper left submatrices of this uh, matrix A. No? So for the first upper left submatrix, oh, so the first upper left submatrix will be this uh, element 4. No? So that will be the first upper left, upper left, so upper left upper left uh, submatrix, so that we will start with 4. So, the determinant of 4 is simply 4, okay? So, uh, that determinant is actually positive, okay? So, now for the second sa upper left submatrix, so the second upper left submatrix will be this matrix. So, this is a 2 by 2 matrix, and we're going to solve for its determinant. So, its determinant will just be 4 times 26 minus 10 times 10, and that will be positive 4. Okay, so that is also positive. Okay, so uh, the, the last determinant that we have to solve here is the determinant of the matrix itself. Okay, so for the determinant of this matrix A, using basket method, okay, so we can solve for its determinant, okay, and its determinant using basket method is 36. Okay, so uh, as, you, as we can see here, all these determinants are positive. So we can draw our conclusion here that uh, since all the determinants of all upper left submatrices are positive, okay, therefore, our matrix A here is a positive definite matrix. Okay? So either of these two solutions, test 1 and test 2, we can use no, to test if the given symmetric matrix is positive definite. Uh, so we, we don't need to, uh, to uh, show these two solutions in our quizzes. Okay? But, but in our CM assessment task, Okay, so I think uh, you have to show it just to for you to to, to practice no solving both uh, tests. Now uh, we will now proceed to the steps of Cholesky method. Okay, so uh, when we uh, confirm okay that our uh, given matrix is symmetric and positive definite, we can now. Uh, proceed, okay, and we can now use Cholesky method. So, if if uh, the given matrix failed that test, okay, meaning to say that the given matrix is not symmetric, it's not positive definite, so we cannot use Cholesky method. Uh, so, we can only use Cholesky method if the given matrix is symmetric and um, positive definite. No? So, these are the steps. For the first step, we have to create matrix A x equal to B. So, this is just the uh, equivalent uh, matrix equation of the given systems of linear equation, wherein A is the matrix A or the coefficient matrix, no? And X here are the unknown variables, okay? And B here are the constants, okay? And for the next next step, we will just uh, decompose our matrix A into the into a product uh, lower triangular matrix, okay? And uh, the transpose of this uh, lower triangular matrix. And for our step 3, do, so this is actually similar to our step in LU factorization. Okay, so we will use LY is equal to B, where in L here is the lower uh, triangular matrix that we solve from step 2. And Y here are unknowns. No? So we are going to solve for Y here and equate this to, to uh, constants B. No? For the fourth step, okay, we will use the transpose of lower triangular matrix, so that will be L raised to T, and then we multiply it by X, no? where in X here are the unknown variables X1, X2, X3, or X, X, Y, and Z, no? so it depends on the given problem, and then we will equate that to Y, okay, and then we're going to solve for the value of, for the unknown values of, of X, no, okay. So let's start solving this system of linear equations using Cholesky method. So uh, we are asked here to solve for x1, x2, and x3. So for our solution, our first step here, we just uh, we need to to um, to write first no, the uh, coefficient matrix. So our coefficient matrix uh, is for the first row that will be 4, 10, and 8. For the second row, 10, 26, and then 26. For the third row, 8, 26, and then 61. Okay, so from here, we have to check first if this matrix is symmetric. So as we can see here, if we um, interchange the rows and columns here, okay, so this will just be the same matrix. No? So meaning to say this matrix is a symmetric matrix. Okay, now uh, we also need to check if this matrix A okay, is a positive definite matrix, okay, so we're going to, to uh, check this, no, using the 
two tests okay that we discussed from our previous slides uh, so in this case this is actually the same uh, matrix that we solve uh, in the two tests okay that we discussed so uh, we actually prove already that this matrix a okay is a positive definite matrix so this is a positive definite matrix so we can now proceed to our first step in Cholesky method so for our first step we just have to create the matrix equation of the given uh, system of linear equation so this will be the matrix a so the unknown variables x here are x1 x2 and x3 and then we will equate this to the constants 4 4 or 44 128 2 1 4 Now for our second step, okay, so our second step, uh, we have to decompose matrix A to product L times L transpose. Okay, so our L, again, this is the coefficient matrix A. And then for our lower triangular matrix, we're going to assign unknown variables here. Okay, so we will assign A, B, C, D, E, F here as the um, elements of this lower triangular matrix. And for L raised to T, so that will just be the transpose of this lower triangular matrix. We will just transpose this and the transpose of this will be A, B, C, 0, D, E, 0, 0, F. Okay, so from here, we're going to solve, okay, for uh, the values of the elements here, for the unknown elements here. So we will just perform here multiplication. So this will be A times A plus 0 times 0 plus 0 times 0. That will be A squared. And then A times B plus 0 times T plus 0 times 0. So that will just be A, B. And then we have your A times C plus 0 times E plus 0 times F. So that will just simply be A, C. Now for the next uh, row here, okay, that will be B times A. So that will be A, B. So B times A plus D times 0 plus 0 times 0. So that will just be A, B. No? And then B times B plus D times D plus 0 times 0. So that this will be that element, b squared plus d squared. And then b times c plus d times e plus 0 times f. So that will just be bc plus de. And then c times a. Okay, so the remaining elements will be 0. No? And then b, uh, c times b. So that will be bc plus e times d. Okay, and then f times 0. So this will be that element. And then c times c plus e times e plus f times f. So this will be c squared plus e squared plus f squared. So from here, we're going to apply uh, the concept of equality that uh, the element in the left side matrix no, will just be equal to the uh, element, corresponding element in the right side. No? So this will just be a squared, a squared is equal to 4, ab is equal to 10, and then ac is equal to 8. Okay, so uh, if a squared is equal to 4, so a will be equal to 2. Okay, and then if a b is equal to 10, we already know the value of a, which is 2. So 2b is equal to 10, that will be b is equal to 5. And then a c is equal to 8, we already know the value of a, that will, that will become 2c is equal to 8. And then uh, solving for c, that will be equal to 4. So same here, a b is equal to 10, and then b squared plus d squared is equal to 26. b c plus d is equal to 26. Okay, so simplifying this using the obtain value so for b that will also be equal to 5 so of course this b should also be equal to this b okay so solving now for d uh, for this uh, equation so b is 5 and then d is unknown so solving for d here this will be equal to 1 now b c plus d is equal to 26 we have we know already the value of c and the value of uh, d okay and the value of b now so solving for e that will be 6 Okay, and then we have your AC is equal to 8, BC plus D is equal to 26, C squared plus E squared plus F squared is equal to 61. So C actually is already solved uh, from here, no? And then E is already solved as well, so that should be also equal to 6. And for F, since we have the value of C and E, so we can solve for F, that will be equal to 3. So uh, from here, we can now solve or start uh, doing our third step. So let LY is equal to B. We're in L here, okay, it's the lower uh, triangular matrix here, okay, so we, we're just going to substitute the values that we obtain here for A, B, C, D, E, F, no? Okay, so the values of A, B, C, D, E, F are this element, so we already substituted here, and then we multiply it by Y, that will be Y1, Y2, and Y3, and we will equate it to 
the constants 44, 128, and 214. So we will uh, perform the operation for this. Okay, so for the first uh, row times the, the column here, so this will be 2 times y1 plus 0 times y2 plus 0 times y3, this will be equal to 44. So solving for y1, that will be 22. Now for the next uh, equation, no? so that will be 5 times y1 plus 1 times y2 plus 0 times y3, that will be equal to 128. And we already have the value of, the value of y1, which is 22. So we can solve for y2. So our y2 here will be 18. Now for the third equation, that will be 4 times y1 plus 6 times y2 plus 3 times y3, and this will be equal to 214. So solving for uh, y3, since we already have the value of y1, which is 22, value of y2, which is 18, so we can solve for y3. So our y3 for this is 6. Okay, so this... Uh, values of y, y1, y2, and y3, we're going to use this in our step 4. Okay, so for our step 4, okay, so uh, we will use this formula, L raised to T times X equal to Y. Okay, we're in L raised to T here is the transpose lower triangular matrix from uh, step 2, no? And we just substitute the, the elements, the unknown elements that we solve. Okay, so this will be 2, 5, 4, 1, 6, 3 here, no? And then times x, x1, x2, x3, and then equate it to the y that we solved, that is, that, uh, those values are 22, 18, and 6. So solving for this, no, so we will start here in the bottom, so this will be 0 times x1 plus 0 times x2 plus 3 times x3, that will be equal to 6. So we can solve for x3 here, so that will be 2. Okay, so this is already an answer, no, one of the answers here for this problem, so you can box that already. Now, for the uh, next equation, that will be 0, okay, times x1 plus 1 times x2 plus 6 times x3. So, this is equal to 18. Okay, so this will be that equation. And we already know the value of x3, which is 2. So, we can solve for x2 and our x2 here is 6. So, we can box that now that now. Okay, now for... The third equation, that will be 2 times x1 plus 5 times x2 plus 4 times x3. That will be equal to 22. Okay, so substituting the values of x2 and x3, we can now solve for x1. Okay, so our x1 here will be negative 8. So we can now box this. So this will now be the answers for uh, this problem no, using Cholesky method. So that concludes our discussion for this topic. I hope that you learn and I hope that you attain the learning outcomes for this topic. So reminder that we have CM assessment task for this topic. You have to answer that and submit that on our next meeting. So I hope that you enjoyed this discussion. Happy studying class. Keep safe and God bless. Bye-bye.